Hello, Beekeeper Nova. Um, today I want to show you guys um, the final product of the uh, double mating mix that I have um, put together. And uh, the way I did it was I have a, um, a a bottom board that can be used as a top board as well. Uh, so I don't. I only have to use uh, one uh, one lid for as a top or a bottom, and then um, I'll show you guys how everything uh, ended up being as far as spacing goes in between the frames. Uh, everything is very compact. Uh, it's not tight, um, and it works quite well. Um, you know, if if you don't want to make a bunch of milk boxes, you can always just. Uh, you know, uh, grab a uh, router and, and do a, a uh, division in the middle and uh, it will work out perfect. So here's an example of uh, what my uh, 10 frame double mating nook boxes look like. And uh, this also is great for wintering bees, uh, it keeps them warmer uh, and so on in the winter. Here's my, uh, my bottom board. Okay, uh, I painted it just with the uh, exterior paint. Um, so the good thing about this this bottom board is that it can be used as a top and as a bottom. And uh, it has uh, entrances here that you just uh, twist and it's being held by a nail, okay? Um, everything else is glued. Uh, the space in here, it's uh, half an inch. And then on the opposite side, he has another uh, entrance, which works in the exact same way as the original. You just flip, so it's very easy. Um, this also gives a place for the bees to land and go in. Okay. All right, so here is the, uh, here's the, the temp frame hive or 10 frame box, okay, here's the bottom. Here's one of the entrances that can easily be opened as so. Okay, and close. Then in the inside, um, we see that the, the board has a division in the middle that runs like this. And then uh, we have a quarter of an inch div uh, divider that divides both sides, okay. And the way it works is that um, you'll have uh, one frame hive on here and another frame hive on here, okay? And then in here, all you do is you put um, uh, glue or silicone, or you can just put a little piece of wood to uh, cover the gap, okay? And the reason why you're always gonna have this gap is because um, if you go in uh, as deep as the, as the rest of the frame rest goes, then you'll end up cutting holes through the uh, handle here. So you don't wanna do that, okay? And um, here are some frames that I have put uh, wax on. Um, for, uh, you know, I, I just feel like by adding more natural wax to your frames, uh, you get a higher acceptance and it kinda attracts the bees more uh, from my experience. And it's very easy to, to do. Just grab a, uh, a little roller, uh, and then dip it in wax, roll it out. Simple, very simple, okay? Um, what I love about this is that you don't have four frames on one side and five frames on the other. You have equal spacing in between, which is about seven um, inches and a quarter, okay? And that's enough space for five frames on each side. And it will look something like this. Okay, as you can see, uh, plenty of space. It's not super tight at all. Um, it really does wonders. Um, although this is a new box with new frames, and as we know, once frames start getting used and uh, being exposed to the bees, you know they get propolis and wax on the edges. So that's something you gotta keep in mind to knock off the frames and so on. Here it is, guys. So, um, very simple. Frames going very easily, okay? Um, you don't have to do anything else. 
and then here is your uh, five frames in here five frames in here your div divider board now obviously um you know you may have a little uh uh gap here which we already talked about that you're gonna fix by just putting some glue silicone or just another little piece of wood okay now the good thing about the lids that i got and why i like them is because um if you come over here the same bottom you can use as a top and then this one already has the divider in the middle which then coincides with the division uh here okay so it puts more pressure um on the uh box okay and it looks something like this okay you got perfect um not perfect but at least you know very functional top and bottom okay um that will work also um you know this this uh, uh what you can do is you can go ahead and um put a piece of cloth here okay to cover uh the spacing so that the queen doesn't go over or the bees piece of cloth over it and then you can put a whatever uh cover on top or what i usually do i just run a thick piece of plastic all along the hive and then i go ahead and staple uh, one staple here and one staple at the end and two or three staples in the middle to hold everything together okay but like i say uh it's very easy very simple and very functional and the best of all is uh you know you can even stack up your boxes because um, by cutting it, cutting it in the same method, uh, this uh, division here in the middle uh, is thick enough, um, and it will always line up if you put a, another top on, uh, another box on top. Um, and let's see here, put another box. I'm trying to work one-handed here, but. Uh, so here will be another top, okay? Here's your divider. And as you can see, uh, that division will always line up, okay? As long as your boxes are square, which is always very important. Uh, square up your boxes when you're putting them together. Doesn't take that long, okay? Uh, but as you can see, um, they line up. Everything lines up. And uh, you can stack up and have uh, a double uh 10 frame deep okay with two hives in it 10 frames each okay top and bottom so there's always very many ways of doing beekeeping uh, many ways of doing uh, uh bees just try to figure out what works for you and keep saving our bees please subscribe like the channel and uh keep supporting uh the bees and beekeepers